Hey folks, Jonathan here. I uh, needed a little break from the uh, bolt situation. Been hard at it, you know, for quite a while. Uh, it's not raining today, first day in, I don't know, week and a half. So uh, I figured I'd play around with this a little bit. I went ahead and bolted a couple of boards on for running boards. Uh, nothing perfect, just wanted to, you know, get something there and get the front of the fender up because it was just flopping. So uh, it's going to work good. A little bit of rust at the front of the fender, and then of course them uh, splash guards. Uh, what do they call them? Who like splash guards? Anyway, they're uh, they're pretty rusty at the bottoms of them, and this fender's got a little bit of rust, nothing major. But uh, you know, no plans to fix any of that. Just wanted to go and get the running boards on, and I just used some of the boards I had left over from my uh, bins I built for my little hardware setup there. So I've uh, got the wheel waiting on tires. Should have them soon that's the wheel we fixed the spokes in uh you know the lights and all i've got back on it and let me see we are getting ready to start on some woodwork and i want to show you and uh, you know tell you and most of what i'm going to be telling you is going to be my opinion of this stuff but maybe you'll understand uh we've got an issue on this side of the car as you can see now our splash apron is you know gone not an issue you know they're gonna have to be replaced like i said you can buy model a ones and probably adapt them or just make some I mean, it wouldn't be that big of an issue but uh frame's really good in this car no no issues there the wood is shot on this side the wood is good on this side but what happens and what i've seen over the years you know looking at these cars and and seeing them seeing people messing with you know old cars with a lot of wood what usually ends up happening they will go in, they'll just start tearing stuff apart, and then they've got a big mess, a big pile of mess on their hands. You know, a lot of times they don't ever get put back together. And, uh, so, you know, it's not, a, it's not a good situation. So what the plan is, and I actually brought the body up so and stuck this board in there temporary, and it's all crooked, but uh, the body was low on this side. Evidently, the, it must have got water on this side of the car and did not on that side. So the plan is, is to duplicate this side onto this side. And we're going to be using oak. I don't know what this is. I'd say it probably is oak. It looks like oak, but uh, that's what we're going to be using. And, you know, definitely tell that was cut on a circular mill to sawmill, rough cut. And uh, so we'll just duplicate starting from the bottom piece on the frame. And what I'm going to do is I've got a bunch of rough cut boards that are a little tiny bit different in thickness. So we're going to go with, any, you know, try to get an exact thickness of this one. We'll copy that board for the other side. You know mirror image and then this is a thinner board on the top side and we'll actually try to copy them board or that board and uh, put it in you know on this side and you know to be honest with you this may not be original stuff because if you notice this is painted black it's probably original this could be something that somebody updated uh, you know when they've done some work on this side so it's really hard to say but uh, they may have replaced this side and didn't replace this side and you know that's just the way it goes but you know this car you know was i'm guessing probably a running driving car in the early 80s or maybe in the 70s or something like that but um because if you see the way this goes together it just don't quite look right and this is painted black so this may be original and then everything up here is not but uh i don't want to do a lot back here because our vin number tags back here and i don't know what your laws are there in your state but in North Carolina I can't alter take off I'm not even supposed to take this off here so we're not going to take it off even though the board's got a little bit of rot back here on the corner we're going to leave it we'll work around it uh, hopefully the rot won't well it's not going to really affect anything there a lot of the screws as you can see of course they're flathead screws and I've got absolutely plenty of them but they're just rusted so we'll pre-drill you know on some of these holes and maybe go with just a little bit bigger size and uh, screws are definitely not an issue especially flathead screws and we can go back with brass really uh, if we want to and uh, they would never rust again I don't think they'd be quite as strong so we may just use uh, zinc you know coated steel so uh, got to get some plywood and get this piece cut and then once this is done this is a lip that goes around for another piece of plywood down here and I don't have it but I'm gonna put it you know I'll 
get a piece. But I guess this this was originally plywood. I don't know. You know, I know there was uh, Vermeer mills back in them days. So, uh, you know, I I don't know when plywood started, but I know it was a long time ago. So, but it definitely was an original plywood up, up there. So we'll get a piece back in there, and then uh, we'll of course get this side of the floor done underneath, and then get another piece on. I've got the high lift jack in here under the dash and it's good and you know sturdy the dash is so we didn't have to worry about it moving and I just brought the cow up to the height this bolt stopped at and that's what we needed it and uh, now from looking at the other side get all the screws out of it here looking at the other side that's a separate block up in the front uh, where that bolts at so we're gonna go ahead and do everything behind it and that'll keep our, our height to where it originally was at and then uh, we've got a bolt to cut here and then we're going to do our measurements for our board. We've got two here that are bolts with uh, square nuts that we'll take out. But we're going to cut our board the size that we need it and we'll bring it back probably to back here because it looks like that one stops back here. So we'll make one full length board back to there and then uh, we'll try to start getting it screwed and bolted in going to fit under this lip. We'll have to get everything cleaned up. Um, we'll try to find something else to put on top of this frame. I think I've got some stuff that uh, we can put on there. It looks like they just had, I don't know what this is, sort of like belt material for a, an old uh, flat belt or something like that. So we'll find something to put on there. And then uh, once we get that board on, we get this bolt in it, which is a carriage bolt on this side. But once we get that in it and bolt it down solid, then we can actually start screwing the body to it where it needs to be. Okay, here's what we got drawn out for the pasture side, and uh, it's going to be 7 eighths thick exactly. And uh, we'll go ahead and see if we can get it cut. All right, first piece is cut. Let's hope it. Uh, let's hope it fits in. Looks right. Don't mean it is right. We'll find out. Okay, we're getting ready to put the board back in permanently. Uh, what I did is I found some plastic that is the same thickness as that compressed material, or that material was compressed that they had on it. It was like almost like a tire material or an old belt material. So uh, this is what I've got. This is what we're using. And uh, what I've done is drilled the holes in it for where there's rivets in the frame so it'll still come out flat and straight. So we're going to get the boards in there permanent and see what it looks like. All right, there you go. We've got uh, the front blocks in. We've got the lower board in. We've got the upper board on. And uh, now we've just got to start working our way back and get all of this taken care of, which is uh, letting the rear right side of the body down low. But uh, everything looks good here. It's pretty much uh, you know a, a duplicate of what's over here. So we've got more screws and stuff to put in, but we'll get them as we go. Just keep rolling on it until we get get it to where it's at least drivable with the, the wood wise anyway. But uh, all right, I'll keep showing you more. All right, folks, since the rain stopped, I decided to take a ride in the old L car. Take it down the road here. Okay, I'll show you where we're at here. I've actually got the uh, door opening and shutting. Uh, got all this in. 
you see I, I ended up using some of my brass Phillips screws which you know no big deal it don't have to be original but we replaced both boards all the way up and uh, we've got it all bolted down and in I used some carriage bolts here to hold the boards together although I didn't have them originally it don't matter uh, the splash apron makes it look bad through here but uh, this actually goes on and, uh, like a seal plate and covers it off that'll get put on eventually uh, trying to get everything figured out of what everything is and it's hard to find any information or pictures or anything like that and I finally found a video that's got a little bit of information that shows some of the way this worked and uh, you know this is going to be pretty rough because this wood is pretty rough back here as you can see this piece actually goes here and we know how to make it and it's actually missing completely on the other side but it's not an issue because we've got this side to go by so we know what we need to do so making the piece going across is not going to be an issue uh, from the looks of it it must have had some notches in it for this one to go and then this one probably come on down and so we'll get it figured out I've got enough pieces and parts of the wood to figure out what was what and what needs to be done this now this sheet metal it just you know most of it's flat it's got a little bit of a roll in it you know this has got a roll around it but it's basically just a sheet and it just nailed on and then your vinyl and stuff goes over top of it so uh, we can actually replace it or use what we've got we can cut pieces just like it it wouldn't you know that's not hard to do and it's just thin stuff so uh, I mean I can bend that by hand it's not a it's not even an issue uh, trunk wise I've got wood to make back there uh, I'm probably gonna be using plywood on the floor and then uh, we're gonna replace this board uh, you can see it's rotted and it screws down in under the seat we'll get it in and I'd love to replace this one but the serial number tags on it uh, still need to make the front and cut out a piece for that you know with the shifter and the, the brake and all uh, that won't be that big of an issue and we may do that in two pieces because it's so long and we want to make it where we can put it in and out uh, so I need three quarter plywood but anyway, we're, we're moving right along on it. I've got the door open and shutting just fine over here. I've also got the body lines lined up and got the door open and shutting over there. The only problem is, is as you can see, I've got wedges in there. Uh, evidently, over the years, it had sunk down a little bit. So we're going to get and shim that up. We'll probably use some of that plastic. And we'll shim that up and re-screw. Well, it wasn't even screwed down, but uh, it sunk into the wood, it looks like. And it... Uh, that's what messed our body lines up. The door wasn't opening and shutting right, so it's right now, and I'll show you that. I don't have an outside handle for this. I thought I did, but I don't, so I've got to come up with one. You can see the body lines on this side, how good they are. And uh, just use the, the inside latch. And this side's really nice, opens up really good. And, you know, like I said, the wood's pretty good on this side. Uh, I may, I can replace this top piece if I want, but like I said, I don't want to replace the serial number piece. And here is a prime example of what I'm talking about. This board actually looked good on the outside, but as soon as I started messing with it, it just, it's just falling apart. I can't even get it out. I did get the top section of it out, a uh, strip about that big for a pattern. So uh, between that and a little bit of measuring, we can get that piece remade. I think these slats are okay. I think they've been replaced, so we'll get it slid up in there, and then uh, we'll be able to get the mounts back in it. This one's rotted down to here. It is solid after that. I don't know whether I'll remake it or cut and actually butt up to it and then put some plate on it. You know, we're not trying to get back 100% original. Worst part's going to be where this uh, this tilt is for the windshield. Trying to get in, get the piece back in, and get cut out for it because I don't know how exactly. I know that's the vacuum line running through for the windshield wipers. So, it's terrible. Terrible. But, you know, 
you can't let it uh, overwhelm you or scare you or worry you just jump in and do it you know if they could do it back then we can do it now okay we've got it all out of there it looks like this is going to be three pieces there's going to be one small piece that goes on top it fits up inside it's going to be a flat one here and then another one stacked on it they're going to come out and curve around now i am going to pull this vinyl back and also i can go through the top and get all this back in there like it needs to be but you know my, my goal is here is not to move much stuff around until we get you know get what we want and get what we need and uh get our measurements because if you you know like i said if you get a hurry and start tearing stuff out you're just gonna make it harder on yourself so we're gonna get the measurements and uh i've got the profile on this piece as you can see this is what it this is what it looked like on the outside it looked like it was good wood but yeah I didn't poke around and prod I just went on with it and uh, so this is gonna be one piece and then the other piece is a little taller it'll go back in and there'll be a third piece that goes on it but we'll show you what it looks like as I go but uh, I don't think it's gonna be too big an issue so we'll do it out of oak we're gonna get the measurements of what we need and I'm going to get at it and see if I can at least maybe get that in there today. And uh, I'll get up top and get all these nails pulled through. And we may... I think that windshield is just held on... Maybe on the outside. Hmm. We need to work on this anyway make sure... I know this has got a, a major issue with gear problems. I, I know people that have had that problem and had to make the gears for them. So we don't want to force this thing because it's not spinning in circles. So the gears are probably good in it. It's got a little worm gear set up. So we may pull that windshield to where we can get that out of the way. And it shouldn't be too bad to, to make it where, you know, we can bolt it back in. We'll screw it back in. Just a little clearance is all we need. All right. This is where I need a woodworker and some good work, woodworking tools too. All right, let's see if we can get something in there. Okay, we got all the nails out. We got our uh, our vinyl pulled back in our chicken wire, and we got our piece in. I hope you can see it. It ain't wanting to. There we go. We've got our piece in. Uh, got to do a little bit more trimming on it, and uh, we will take and. Uh, like I said, we've got to add a piece to the inside of it, and the piece for the inside is actually goes inside here, and that's what you nail down to. So we've got to add it in, and then we got to this has got to be shortened up to where it's the same height, or well, the same height as the lower edge of that. So I'll mark it while it's up there, shorten it, and then uh, there's another piece that goes on the flat side of this, and. Uh, it's going to have to be thinned out for this somehow. Uh, maybe have to do it on the milling machine, I guess. And uh, then brackets bolt to it, and then these strips nailed to it. So it actually goes on the outside of this one. So, well, you know, we're just going back with three pieces instead of one. And it's going to make it a little easier on me putting it together. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and get this one trimmed down where I need it. And I think it's going to. It's going to fit in there really good. It's looking good. So, uh, anyway, let's get at it. Okay, we've got this one in all the way. And now I see why it just had a little narrow narrow piece up top. Because it just needs a little bit to uh, overhang for nails to go in. So, that shouldn't be an issue. We'll just run one piece, you know, about an inch tall. Uh, probably from here over. And then uh, in here, we've just got to measure our distance between here and here. See if I can get where you can see it. Between here and here. And we may have to machine a piece down. And same way with our brackets, where they go on, on both sides. And uh, it'll be basically a piece shaped just like this one. And it'll come down in. The only difference is it'll be 
the thickness of these slats lower than this board because they lay on top and these slats go even with our outside board that we just made and put on so uh, anyway I think that'll work out well uh, it'd be nice if we had good fresh uh, rough cut you know it would look a lot better but you know it's sort of gonna keep the car looking old like that for sure but uh, you know the woods weathered a little bit but you know there's nothing wrong with it so uh, we'll get at the other piece now all right okay folks we've got both pieces in and uh, I don't know if you can see or not mm, let me get to where you can see it here the one on the back side the quarter inch lower I've been doing a lot of filming because it's going to get dark on me but there you go you see these slats fit right on top and uh, they're even with this one so coming along We'll get everything screwed in, bolted in, everything we need to do here, and then we'll uh, we'll uh, keep moving on. Uh, maybe get these two side pieces and get the brackets on. So I'm going to have to pre-drill most of these screw holes, of course, because this is oak, but it'll work out. All right, I appreciate everybody watching, and uh, I think I'm going to have to call it a night, and we'll get back on this thing and try to get all the wood knocked out. It's coming right along there. Uh, it's not that bad of a job, but just figuring it out. Once you get it figured out and uh, what goes where and all that good stuff, it's not bad to do. So, all right. Appreciate everybody watching. Till next time. Bye.